Yes. JT is just testing the microphone there. <laughs> so, whichever one that is, that's the right one. JT, hello. Hello there, sir. And, and John, you, good morning to you. Hiya. So, we, we, are, we are settling in. The, sh the show, will, show will do okay. We're going to talk a little bit about the radio because John has been predicting that FM is going to go for some time now. Um, he does listen on his phone to music quite a lot. And uh, JD found a report on um, a recent, recent talk by, by Ben Cooper from Radio 1, which, with a bit of luck, we're, go we're going to play. So uh, th this is... Y you'll find it on uh, Audio Boo, and I, th I think it's all right to play it. Uh, it it's, uh, it's, it's quite interesting. Ben Cooper, of course, with BBC Radio 1. Radio is dead, that's what you said in there. Well, it was just to grab people's attention because I think it is dead in terms of its traditional thinking in terms of going from a studio through a transmitter and an aerial to a radio set. We've got to stop thinking like that and we've got to think what are the actual characteristics of radio and how can we distribute those wonderful characteristics that make up radio on different, uh, in different ways on different platforms. Someone like the BBC have got huge resources when it comes to doing different things. You've got social media producer, I believe, at BBC Radio 1. What about the smaller players in radio? Are they going to get left behind? They haven't got the resources to throw at it. I don't think it's a question of resources because if you look at the technology and the way that technology has changed now, technology is so much cheaper. So you're recording this not on a ewer uh, over your shoulder with one shoulder sort of sloped down because it's weighing so much. You're doing it on a phone, a smartphone. And I think, you know, the, the key is creativity. Whether you're a student radio station or a local, small local radio station or a national radio station, it's about creativity. So if you've got a, an interview with someone, how do you make your interview stand out? And how will people search that and share that interview rather than your competitor's interview? Zane Law, of course, left Radio 1 a few weeks back, and that, that seems to have made real waves across the world. I've been looking at American websites with Radio 1, they're talking about Zane Lowe going to Apple. Have you any idea what Zane Lowe will be doing at Apple? No, he's sworn to secrecy, but uh, we've even tried to get him in a headlock and he still won't tell us. Um, the, the thing, though, for us is that is a perfect example of the way that the radio industry is changing. So Radio 1 is no longer competing in a radio marketplace in the UK. Apple, sitting in California, had the choice of anyone on the globe, anyone on the planet, and they chose a radio presenter from the UK. And I think that tells you something about the power of radio and the opportunities that we still have as an industry, but it also tells you about the threats. Is it a worry that the best talent will start disappearing like it did to satellite radio in America? I think there will, there will be, uh, certainly uh, Zane won't be the last, I'm sure, uh, to leave the UK shores to, to go to America. But I think, you know, if you look at the characteristics of what radio has uh, as an industry, things like great presenters, uh, things like amazing live moments, if you look at the free-to-market playlists that are curated, those are fantastic assets and we just need to distribute them in a different way um, so that we can get to young people. And I think those elements, those things that radio can do that, you know, the hairs on your back of your neck stand up or laugh out loud moments, you don't get that with a streaming service. So those assets that the radio industry has, we just have to be better at distributing them in new ways to new audiences. In the BBC, when you're looking at the listening figures for Radio 1 now, is that the only thing you're looking at? Are you looking at YouTube views, everything else, and saying, well, we are quite successful there, even if traditionally we've not got the same number of listeners? I think the radio industry definitely needs to uh, get better at using data. We're not very good um, at uh, collecting it, and um, in terms of its widest uh, set of sort of reaches, so you've got Rajar, that's good. That's good in terms of radio listening, but for Radio 1, you also need to look at YouTube hits. So we've got 2 million subscribers to our YouTube channel. We've got, ha uh, we've got half a billion uh, views on our YouTube channel. You've got 2 million Facebook followers and 2 million Twitter followers. So how do you get all of that footprint, that brand footprint, calculated into meaningful data? And that, I think, if you can work that out, then let me know and we'll set up our own company and I'll leave uh, Radio 1 tomorrow. Is it a worry though that you're now being led by 
it's almost Google, isn't it, or Facebook. Their, their companies, their, their brand is now telling you what to do rather than you were a radio station that just broadcast what you want and did what you want. So I think one of the problems we have is the radio industry has almost had a monopoly for many, many years on how it distributes its content. Now you have that situation where you're putting content on a third-party site or a third-party platform. And that is good in the short term because you can build loyalty and you can build new audiences. But I think we need to get back some of our control in terms of distributing our content. So I think hybrid radio is a really key thing. And if you don't know about it, find out about it. Hybrid radio uh, here at Radio Days Europe has got a stand and it shows people that on a smartphone you can have rather than that just wheel of death staring at you when you're trying to get a, a proper IP signal, uh, you can actually get FM, digital, or an IP signal. And if we can do that, we can get back into the game, we can get back onto smartphones, and we can start winning young audiences over. Is that far away? I, I wouldn't like to say what the timeline is, but go and talk to Hybrid and find out where we are at in terms of when that can happen. But I think you know there's great backing for Hybrid Radio across Europe from very many uh, different uh, backers, and I think uh, you know the sooner we do it, the better. Ben Cooper, thank you for speaking to us. No problem at all. Yeah. So, what, what did you make of that then? Well, you stopped it halfway through. No, that was the end of it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's as far as they got. Oh, um, I thought it was very good. It backs up my point precisely, so people think I'm talking rubbish. Um, <laughs> uh, think again, because what? I think because I think. I, I, it's just it's just fact. I don't really care what people say. That's just backed up my my opinion. So if you don't like me people in that kind of world, you don't have to like me. But the fact is, radio FM signal is going to disappear. I think in years and years to come, everything will be online. Everything's moving up to smartphone. It's because everything is online, and you can and you can access you know you can access things. You don't need a yeah, um, a, a, a radio now to, in order to listen to radio as he was just illustrating it's not it's not needed anymore you you know they, they will always be these people which I think two of them are sat like well I don't know yeah. one, yeah. Of, one of them at least is sat like sat opposite me right now um, that will still want and need and want to listen to FM signal and still on to trail CDs and and all of this because yeah. some people are like that some people can't change their ways because I know he was born in the, the last generation unfortunately um, oh, yeah. but anyway yeah. anyway the point is FM signal is dying it's di it's 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 dying very slowly and painfully but it is dying out so how do you how do you think um, a radio station adapts to this or presenters adapt to this? What are they? Well, I don't doing? think they really need to adapt. That's all they need to do is 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 uh, well uh, because you 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 missed the point again. Oh. The, 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 most radio stations have got online streams anyway, <laughs> so it doesn't make a blind bit of difference that they're not listening. To, to radio or FM because they can listen if, they, if, if your Wi-Fi gets busted at home people have normally got a backup system to listen to the radio haven't they they've normally got internet on their phone they've normally got some way uh, of listening to radio they, what I'm saying it's not needed a, you know you don't need you don't need to go out and buy a, what I'm saying you don't need to go out and buy a radio in order to listen to radio anymore you don't need FM and you certainly don't need uh, a, 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 um, a, a, even a, even a box standard desktop at home now. You just need um, smartphone of some kind or something connected to the internet, and then you can get the radio. So FM signal is slowly dying, and that's all I'm saying on the subject. So okay. Exeter, if you don't like me, you don't like me. I don't particularly care, but FM is dying. There's no two ways. There's okay. no. There's okay. no two ways about it, to be honest. Okay. So what did you? What did you make? I mean, all all I gathered about Zane and Apple was that something will happen in June. Well, April, May. Well, it's like three months away. So you've just got to wait and see. I mean, he's obviously keeping us in, in suspense for a reason. 
Yeah, but do you, do you think Apple are going to do sort of like radio programs with presenters talking between the tracks and things like that? Or is it just going to well, be Well, you never know. You never know. And this is plugging Apple again, which I was getting in trouble for last week. But well, I'm going to say, I'm going to say this. I mean, I went into Apple yesterday and I was I was inquiring about the lovely new smartwatch that they that they're getting released in April. Yeah. And I, I was like, well, why would I want to pay thirteen hundred pounds for a smartwatch? <laughs> and 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 they were like, well, it, well, it, um, well, it, well, it's that it go, you know, you it's you can make you can make phone calls for it. So <laughs> technically, I'll be able to technically I'd be able to make phone calls for the smartwatch and get notifications through my smartwatch as well. So what will happen? A little beat or a little pinch will. <laughs> You know, a little vibrate will come on my hand when I get a text message and a Facebook notification and a Twitter notification. So all these things, I will be able to send a text message through my smartwatch and an email through my smartwatch. So I will not even have to get my phone out of my um, pocket. No, well, and you can listen to the radio as well. And you can listen to the radio. And you'll get and messages saying and new track. And what else I forgot to include? You can actually store music in the smartwatch. Ah. So this is you can store music in it. Yeah, so this is great. Eventually, I might even be able to have my have the, have the follow lead plugged into the living watch. Ah, oh. <laughs> I'm not. I, surely, surely we need Wi-Fi. Well, who no, knows? Or Bluetooth. Or who, who knows? I'm very excited so, about so this. So you can do the whole show from your watch. Well, I well, well I, I now hang on, please. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I wouldn't like to make that. That that claim because I'm not quite sure. No, but I'm, I know for a fact I'll be able to send emails and and and, and send the text and read text yeah. from the watch. Well, I, I think the FM studio. I make phone calls from the watch as well. The FM studio will still be here. It's still. Oh my God! So it's not going to die today. It's not going to die tomorrow. It's probably not going to die for the next five or six years. But it's slowly. Can I repeat? Slowly dying. Okay, that sounds. As long and as we come up with something else. And if, <laughs> and if a producer from Radio One agrees, and uh, I can't be far, I can't be far wrong. No, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. But we still need, still need to talk it out. JD, you're being very quiet. Well, he's having his rant. <laughs> That's what, but it's very good rant, though. Well, I enjoyed you, that rant. You just, <laughs> you, you just seem to find. What you know? I think, I think it's not. Uh, you, you do, why would I want to go out and buy a radio now? <laughs> what? What? Well, okay. Fair, fair point. No, answer the question. What? What? Well, you don't. Why in would your I? Ca in your case, you're saving up for a gold-plated watch. <laughs> 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 At the end of your short career as a short career, FN, yes, yes. as a FN presenter, you're entitled to a gold. No, no, not not just retirement. Yeah, <laughs> thirty hundred pounds. Whatever else you're gonna do after that, we don't know. <laughs> so, well, anyway, I just think of. Uh, I, I want um, to know when there's an internet downfall. Okay, what are you gonna listen to? Well, <laughs> that's that's. Well, easy. I don't stop streaming. Yes, it stops streaming. <sighs> we pulled the plug out on the internet because there's too many people. Well, I don't think it's going to happen. Well, ra well, ra a radio. At least you can uh, just turn on, and listen to something. Yeah, but well. again, you need all this technology to round you to make it work. Well, we'll see who's we'll see who's right in the next. Five years, Five years. Jay -Z. we'll look at it. We'll look, look, okay. I think we'll go back to the wind up radio. All oh, right, <laughs> it's not the, the it's really not the wind up radio. FM signal <laughs> is dying. Okay. Like I've like right. I've tried to say, right. it's not going to die today. It's not going to die tomorrow. It's not going to die in the next six years. But it is slowly dying. Okay. Well, I'm going to play a track now. This this track is called um, Tiptoe to Bohemia, and it's by Spin Two. It's time to play musical channel. 